I'm Rachel, um, and I'm just going to present on a project that um, my colleague Crawford and I have been working on for the past nine or ten months or so, and um, just go over what we've been up to. So um, we've been working on a project um, that began as an idea for a handling kit. So if you're not familiar with handling kits, um, it's one of the Open Museum's core services. So they're basically small boxes filled with real museum objects that community groups can borrow and use for reminiscence, handling, any sort of learning, really, uh, whatever they want. Um, so we, deci we decided we wanted to make a kit about migration, looking at contemporary stories of migration, um, and have it available for community groups. So we started, as we do when we make new handling kits, started researching the collection, looking for objects that could go inside, um, and we didn't find a lot. Um, Glass Museums doesn't have a lot in the collection that's been collected over the past 25 years. We set our parameters to 25 years because it's the Open Museum's 25th anniversary this year, so we thought that would be a good marker of the, our, our occasion to look at what's changed in Glasgow over 25 years. So the collection doesn't have a lot, um, so we decided that we should start collecting. So this has become somewhat of a contemporary collecting project, a bit experimental, um, and we're just going to see going through the process, being useful, and seeing what we can do. So, uh, we started by connecting with two ESOL classes. One of them is an international women's group, um, and they're based in the north of Glasgow. Uh, and then the other one is a, a drop-in ESOL class, um, so they're based in the east of Glasgow. So that class is a little bit more fluid. Um, there's sometimes people you see once and you never see them again, and then some people come every week for a number of weeks. So, We've been bringing them out existing handling kits, um, just getting to know people, uh, and we started collecting oral histories. So we've done about 10 oral histories um, with different people. We're looking at migration um, of all sorts. So we're meeting with asylum seekers and refugees who've been here for a month, four months, one year, um, and we're meeting with people who've come 15, I think 15 years is the um, longest someone's been here at the moment uh, that we've had so far. Um, but we're also looking at economic migrants, people who come from the EU um, for all sorts of reasons, maybe to join family or just to look for work opportunities. So um, this is Salma, um, and we've decided to work with Salma for the next stage of the project, which is illustrations. <coughs> so we decided that the oral histories were lovely, um, but they're not as accessible in the collection as, some, as an object would be. So we've commissioned the il an illustrator who is Glasgow-based, his name is Will Freeborn, um, and we've started working with him to put some of those stories and make objects out of them, basically. <coughs> so this is myself and Selma um, meeting, with we've, meeting with the illustrator to come up with what she thinks are some key points in her story, um, looking at what, Glas what it's been like for her in Glasgow, what she brought with her, um, and that's the illustration of uh, Selma. So, we decided, we thought maybe we'd think about doing a portrait, um, focusing on an object maybe that she brought with her, um, and then a place in Glasgow that's important to her. So as we met with Salma, um, we didn't really come up with many objects because she came here with herself. She was eight months pregnant and she had two children already uh, and her husband. So she says, my, my children are the most important, so the we chose her children as her object, so they're represented in this portrait. Um, this is where she's from. She's from Iraq, um, so we were just rep uh, we'll just represent this so get a sense of where she's come from. And this is another example. Um, she, as we met with her, and actually this happens quite a lot when we're meeting with people, uh, they bring out their iPhone and share photos and videos. Uh, so this is her mother. So her mom's still in Iraq, uh, and, but she keeps in touch with her over her iPhone. Um, and then that on her finger there, that's a ring that her mom sent her. She has brother-in-laws in Edinburgh who can go back and forth, so her mother will send her stuff through uh, her, her brother-in-law, so send her that ring, and send her all sorts of funny things. Funny stories come out, like um, she sends socks home from Iraq because she wants to make sure they have socks. And I just like that story because it's kind of a thing that grandmas do, just send <laughs> socks. <laughs> and she's like, Mom, I can get socks here. <laughs> sending her them. Um, so we've um, started illustrations with two other people, um, uh, and then those, are, those ones aren't finished, but we've got part of a portrait done. Uh, and then going forward, we're looking at maybe collaborating with other colleagues. So we've met with the decorative arts curator at Glasgow Museums, looking at ways maybe to collect ceramics, put these stories through different uh, mediums. So ceramics, maybe some stained glass, we don't know. We're just experimenting um, and we've also started a 
trying to get a, a little group together, myself and Ruth uh, in Crawford. So Ruth is at the back of the room. Um, and so Ruth is a PhD student working um, with Glass Museums at the moment, and we're looking to get a group together to see how we can take it forward. Um, so one of the suggestions from actually Noemi, this is Noemi, she's from Italy, she's thinking maybe we could put uh, together a tour of the resource center with some of uh, the participants because we've taken them there before and some stories started coming out just looking through the objects that we do have. So Noemi said she could start telling her story maybe through some of the old Italian paintings. Um, mm. So we're just experimenting with that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.